Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Afan if you don't know. So I throw a bunch of random media on my channel so you can go and have a look if you like it. Before we diving into today's video, uh, I just want to say please consider subscribe if you love this channel and also hit the like button and don't forget to leave your comment or any uh, feedback, recommendation whatsoever in the comment section down below and I will be happy uh, to reply to each and every one of you guys. So please be kind to another human being so don't throw any kind of nasty comment because that is not really good. I hope you guys have a good lovely 2020 and I know it's still January and we all like still excited to go uh, further in this year because we have lots of plan and also we have like so many uh, goals to achieve. As you've seen the title on today's video, I'm going to share with you my experience being in a gay club in Malaysia. So my experience, this has happened was like ages ago. So I'm not sure if there's any gay club in Malaysia. I think there is one that particular one that I know. Ages ago, the gay club that I've been was so nice, was so good. So I think that is the most popular one among others. That club, I think they call La Queen. So if you know, but now they closed down. I'm not sure where is the you know other drag queen show club anymore in Malaysia. So if you know where is the drag queen show club in Malaysia, please. Hit the comment section, leave it there and then I'm gonna go and try to find it because last time when I, I went back to Malaysia last year, I couldn't find any drag queen show that I could bring my boyfriend that to show it to him. Uh, you know, it's quite difficult but I think there's one it, they call Blue Boy which is, that is not my favourite one but I still, I, I heard there's some one club which is have a you know runway and whatsoever and then they do all this drag queen show but i'm not sure where is it so if you know where is the drag queen show in malaysia please hit the comment section guys so my experience uh being in the gay club probably different from what uh people go through uh i mean like currently you know if you go to malaysia right now so you could uh actually go pretty much everywhere uh, i think there's so many i don't know there's so many gay club in malaysia but i think for sure there is one which is the best one uh, but my experience was too old. I mean like I went to this uh, gay bar when I was like 23 or 24 I think. So that was like my first year of university. Uh, but before that I'm going to tell you guys you know I grew up in such a small uh, town which is there's no gay. So it's quite difficult for me to come out so I'm still in the closet at time when I was in school uh, and then after school uh, I'm still you know like in the closet I went to KL I make some friends and then get to know people uh, and then after that uh, you know I'm still waiting uh, my result to go to the university and I get into university in my first year so my friend introduced me to his friend so and that time I was still in the closet you know I'm still wearing all these baggy clothes you know I love hip-hop I love R&B that time so I'm still in the closet that is still myself but I think there is a part of me which is a gay side of me uh, not coming out yet you know and then uh, so I get to know this guy and then this guy was very nice very charming very kind uh, and then he's the one who introduced me to this gay club and then he said like you know what when you're back to Malaysia and then we can go to the gay club in Malaysia and then I was like okay you know what let's go you know in KL and then um, he he's the one who introduced me to this club and then at first night and I still remember uh, you know before we even go to that club and then we do some shopping so and then because when he saw me I, I was wearing all these baggy clothes I think he's not really like okay this is not you're not gonna wear this in the gay club you know uh, and then I was like alright okay so um, where we go then and then uh, he said let's do some shopping and then he's completely changed my style uh, at that time to be honest I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not really comfortable with that I'm not saying it's not 100% comfortable it's just I think I'm not ready for that um, I'm still wearing baggy clothes and then when we went to there's one shop and then he picked me all these fitted jeans and fitted shirts you know everything and I was like oh my god I'm not sure if I feel comfortable with that and then when I put it on and then when I saw myself in front of me right although I don't like it but there is part of me saying that oh my god you really show your physique you know when you go to this like gay bar experience so you really want a shining bright like diamond you know that is most of people want to do you know like you want to be the best 
person there in the club. Uh, and then I was like, oh my god, okay, it does look nice on me, but I think like, okay, I'm not comfortable. But then, you know, I'm open with uh, any kind of changes. You know, I'm very, very uh, open-minded. I feel like, you know, you know what, let's go and dive into it. You know, I'm, I can, you know, wear this. And then we went to that club. I still remember as soon as, uh, you know, I saw that club, then my friend said, oh, that is the club, which is I saw it. Like, there is a bunch of people, a massive queue in front of that club. Uh, then, you know, transgender, all these gay. And then I couldn't believe the feeling of, um, you know, I'm still terrified, to be honest. I'm, just, I'm still terrified when I saw them. I was like, oh my God, it's so scary. You know, I, I've never been in that, com you know, out of my comfort zone. And then um, he's the one who brought me out, you know. Uh, and then when I saw that, I, I don't remember that time, I think it's around 15 or maybe 20 ringgit Malaysia uh, entry fees. Uh, and then as soon as walking in that club, I saw like there is a huge curtain, like black curtain. As soon as my friends open up the curtain, I can see, oh wow, there is like a shining ball and then there is a cages, you know, beautiful transgender and then and very good looking guys and they all like, have a very good physique, which is, I feel like sometimes intimidated with them. I was like, oh my God. I don't feel that you know and um, yeah and then we went to the bar first thing first of course alcohol drinks and then we try to get a drink so I I say like I have tried beer before but you know but I never tried a liquor and then he recommended me this one particular drink which is called Long Island so if you don't know Long Island it was a very popular drink back in 1980s uh, a mix of the uh, four type of uh, white liquor uh, and that is it has rum uh, tequila vodka and gin can you imagine and a squeeze of lemon juice and splash of coke so if you drink this drink uh, you won't taste the alcohol you completely taste a coke and the lemon uh, like lemony kind of a drink and then it's really nice but it is really strong so uh, I love the drink and then me and my friend so we went upstairs so there are two floors so upstairs it was like very quiet not quiet I think there's still some space that you can moving around and then you know still relax and take it back you know like just take everything in to be honest and then um, dance floor was at, uh, at the dance floor so you can go and you can see the crowd and then you can still uh you know see uh, people all these drag queen uh, making a show because you still have some space like a balcony type of uh floors uh and then i was upstairs and then my friend was upstairs and then my friend said you know what i want to go and dance i said oh my god please don't leave me alone because i was still you know overwhelming and i'm still terrified that time i was oh my god it's so scary and i was like just holding my drink and then i was like oh, my, so awkward because i'm not really into dancing and then the music is nice and i was oh my god this is so awkward and i was like looking at okay I'm moving all right all right i'm still moving but i'm not moving too much and then uh, my friend came back and then you know keep topping up my drink and then because me i don't have this uh you know i'm not good in socializing to be honest i have to you know sometimes I'm forcing myself to go out of my comfort zone to go and approach people and you know, just make say hi because i'm not that kind of person you know i have got this anxiety so i think after a few drinks of alcohol uh, I think uh, it opened up my anxiety and then just go and dancing because I always felt like because when I dance in the crowd people always looking at me you know those kind of thing so I'm not really good in that in the public space area so that time I think I felt like a bit nice you know tipsy not drunk uh, and then I went to the dance floor and then we were dancing so it was nice and such a, a good experience to be honest for the first time uh, and then I, I can see like there's so many people like very very out they are like wow you know they are living their life uh, to be a gay and then I was like wow that is nice you know I've, I can see like there's people dancing you know they don't even care that is a thing because I think the best thing in Malaysia where you, if you go to the gay club so i don't think like people will come and approach you or say hi to you and although they uh, respect your privacy uh and also i like it because you know you just relax and you know you don't have to force yourself you know to come out or to just you know be like them because they are taking time to come out as you you can take your time as long as you want to come out and be who you are because like me that time i still feel like i'm in the closet i'm not really into like you know dancing and all this stuff but then there's a part of me saying like, okay this is my life you know the feeling of belongs there you know like this is my community so i felt that that time and i feel like wow that is so good you know it is a good feeling so i will 
Highly recommend you guys. Yeah, or maybe I will give some advice for those who want to go to the gay club for the very very first time. I will highly say that you guys please take it easy. Go with your friend. Never go alone because if you go alone, you don't know what you might be uh, end up. You know you might drink in too much because you are bored and you awkward. You keep drinking and drinking and you piss and then you don't remember the night before and then you never know where you end up. So you will never, you know remember the experience of that first night in the gay club so what i will say that you guys just take it easy go with your friend friend that you can trust and then uh you just uh you know don't drink too much i think if you got those anxiety like me or maybe you you know just scared to approach people just take it easy drink it a bit and then until you feel like okay i am now uh can be approachable then you go for it you know and then don't look at your phone all the time you know stay away with your phone you know just put your phone down and then just go and enjoy your time that is the most important thing because i don't want you to like uh be too drunk and then you don't remember anything that night before come on that is your first experience the atmosphere the music everything was nice so you should experience that so you know that's what i'm saying you know some people say oh my god my first gay club is all bad you know you can see like people having sex in the toilet or people kissing i know although you don't see that very often but i think there is a few club which is i know it happened but come on i think that is normal even if you go to any other club even like straight normal club so you always see that so it's not only a gay club you know sometimes it, it can feel overwhelmed you can feel like oh my god that is so bad you know that is so dirty you're just not ready yet okay so once you're ready once you take in everything in you know absorb all the atmosphere you will like it and you will enjoy it to be honest so what I would say, just be safe, guys. So yeah, that was my first uh, experience in the gay club. I still enjoy, I still remember until now that I want to share with you guys. I think there's a lot of people, when I went to this uh, gay club, there's a lot of people which were, you know, it's not like back in the days ago, but nowadays I've seen, when I went to this, uh, I don't know, blue boy club, I can see like there's a group of kids I think it's not kid. I think around like 18 or 19, probably 20. And then with the one like older guy on the table, which is pay all the drinks. And then this kid is like wild. So I don't know if it's that is the culture now that people want it, or that is the culture in the club, in the gay club at the moment. I don't know. I don't know. But it it happened. I've seen it. So I'm not sure. So you might not experience a good one, but I do experience a good one. I remember until now. So yeah, if you take it all, you know, all my advice and then take it easy, relax and trust your friend, I think you will have a good one. So it doesn't matter where you are. So until now, I'm still go and you know when I'm now living in overseas. So. I always go and then search in a gay club that I can go and then relax. I want to see the environment. I want to see ex different experience, you know. If you know where is there another drag queen show club in Malaysia, please leave in the comment section below because I don't know. I probably go back to Malaysia this year and I really want to uh, bring my boyfriend uh, to this club and then just let him experience it because I think he never, uh, you know, been to any drag queen show because I think that was nice, very fun. You know, they are always funny because when I went to that club, there is a drag queen show between the dance, so there's a music and then they stop the music and then there's a drag queen show. They are very funny, hilarious. Uh, the way, oh my god, he acting and everything. I still remember. So it could be a good one, guys. So please. Uh, don't stop yourself okay so explore more uh, and then just um, you know be whatever you want to be and then if you are ready to come out and if you're not ready to come out no one is going to force you you know no one gonna you know tell you oh my god you have to dance like this I don't know take your time take it easy as what I did I take it easy you know I take my time um, when I'm ready I'm ready so if I'm not ready I'm not ready so that's all my experience so I hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> So please consider subscribe if you like this video and also hit the like button and the comment section, right? So I will see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for watching this video and thank you for staying with me. And uh, let me know if you got any idea of my uh, new, new video on my channel. Please hit the comment section below, right? So I hope you guys have a good lovely day and then just enjoy the rest of your day and then enjoy the 2020. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.